<clears throat> Hi Aquarius, what's up? Welcome to your reading. But I was in reverse. So I do look, I do see there's a, been a breakup, a split, or someone's just plain non committal. What's the lovers in reverse? Someone made the wrong choice. Looks like they picked a temptation. Could be any kind of temptation. Could be making the wrong choice. Could be moving towards a, choosing a career over love, choosing family over love, whatever. Someone wants a reconciliation with you guys. Okay, this person out here has been thinking a lot about you. You're on their mind 24 7. And uh, they're thinking, 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 thinking. There's been a lot of depression on this person's side. I feel this person very, very depressed, very sad, very low on confidence, okay? And they literally need that kind of motivation uh, to come towards you right now, okay? I feel this person out here lacks motivation and they've been pretty upset. <sighs> Severe depression is what I'm getting, okay? They just feel like life is useless and worthless without you. They know they made the wrong choice and now they want to come back. I don't know if you want them back or not, but they do. And they're thinking a lot about you. So I'm getting no communication also right now, okay? So even though they're not communicating out here, you are on their mind. And a lot of you may even feel it, okay? Now, let's see. Life of the Three of Wands. Like the King of Pentacles. You guys are turning your back to this situation. Okay. I feel that you guys have been hurt. But you guys are um, releasing yourself. Alright. I am not completely saying that you guys are turning your back to the situation and moving towards someone new. I feel there is a little bit of indecisiveness. I feel you guys have packed your bags, but you are still keeping the doors open for this person. Although you walked away. Although you walked away is what I'm getting, okay? You're more focused on your career, your goals probably, or just, you know, trying to explore your options. You try to heal from the heartbreak, the grief that has been caused to you guys. But you're just like, you know what, it's not worth it. All right, so maybe you just want to keep it on the back burner right now. So I'm not seeing you guys completely like an open and shut case. The person you're dealing with, they see themselves as someone out here who wants to make a commitment to you, who wants to make you an offer. They're desperate to communicate with you. However, I feel that there is still some kind of energy that's holding them back. Either they're waiting for other people's approval or there is a situation that is needed for them, okay, in order for them to move towards you. There is some kind of decision that could be depending on other people's opinions, other people's decision okay but this person needs a little bit of more time the good part out here is that while making you wait okay while making you wait for this connection while making you wait for a forward movement out here there's been a lot of uh, introspection so i feel this person out here has tried to see things from a very very different perspective from a different point of view and i feel they've changed okay they're changing their point of view for you now <clears throat> Now, how you feel as the Empress, so you are okay on your own, you're chilling, you're relaxing, you're doing you, taking care of yourself, your body, uh, taking care of your mind, you're more spiritually aligned right now, emotionally, spiritually aligned, okay, not very materialistic, uh, you're just on your own, you're attracting uh, your past person back, okay, because you just don't care, you know, you don't care, the Empress please, why is the Empress here? So you are feel very, very abundant. Yeah. See, a lot of you, you know, like I said, this is why I said that you guys have still keep the, kept the door open. I feel you guys still love this person. Okay. There is no communication out here. There's no clarity out here. A lot of you are losing patience. I feel you still love this person out here. But it's like, you know what? There is this sense of acceptance where, you know what? How we like law of attraction, right? If it's meant to be, it'll come back. If it doesn't, then, you know, it never was meant to be. So I don't see you guys like completely like, you know what? having that grudge i feel you guys have grown i feel you guys are healing slowly but steadily but uh, i feel there is a sense of impatience on your side all right you need to balance i feel you could be overdoing something probably overworking just to distract yourself you know is what i'm getting out here but i feel a lot of you are becoming workaholics although by being a workaholic you are attracting this person back but just get a little bit of balance okay now, this person out here is pretty heartbroken with the Three of Swords. What's the Three of Swords out here? I feel this person out here hasn't healed. And they're constantly, their inner critic is constantly, you know, pulling them down. 
and probably stopping them from making that move towards you. What's the three of swords? See, they want to take things to the next level with you, okay? They want to walk away. They want to walk away from any third party situation. Now, I feel third party is probably because they chose someone else over you. All right, or they could have chosen, uh, like I said in the before, right? In, right in the beginning, in the um, current situation, where I do see there could have been a choice that was made, which was a bad choice, wrong choice, or something that was made on temptation. Now, temptation does not always mean, like I said, a third person out here who's romantically involved. Temptation could also be where you'd rather choose work. You know how a lot of people like, I'd rather choose work because at least I won't have my heart broken, or at least that's in my control. You know what I'm saying, right? Uh, could be family, could be uh, choosing friends over benefits, maybe someone's not interested in long-term commitment, take it how it resonates. But they realize that you're the one for them. They have a very strong soulmate connection with you, okay? And um, they haven't healed, you guys, they haven't healed, okay? So even if they're coming back, they're missing you a lot, but if they don't heal, this situation stays stagnant for a little more longer. They're changing their perspective with that action getting out of that stuck mode and taking action is yes a lot of times uh, some things are needed okay patience is needed but i think this person out here is pretty much ready to move towards you with commitment okay but they're still not doing it but before they come towards you they gotta walk away which they already are in the process of walking away from an unfulfilling unfulfilling situation okay the grass wasn't greener on the other side the only thing they're lacking right now is structure they're not being they're not still not being able to take control of the situation they're still not investing correctly okay they still want the upper hand out here and i think their ego is the biggest thing that's coming between you both okay their ego is that their, their pride is too important to them they cannot believe that they probably thought that you were going to chase them okay they probably thought that you were deeply in love with them which yeah probably you are you still are but you're playing it pretty well you guys are playing your cards really well and this person has no idea how much you're still in love with them so yeah you're putting up that charade and they're buying it now let's see yeah oh okay okay let's see why is the strength in reverse Mm -hmm. um you're dealing with someone out here this is why all this is happening because this person out here is still not taking action okay they're still copying out of hard work they're giving in too soon they're lacking the courage still not having the power to make that right decision this person out here lacks decision making skills guys they do so you have the power in you so you made that decision to walk away this person out here knows what they want but they still have got to have that inner strength okay that inner strength to tame the situation and get it in their favor. So they are releasing this uh, any kind of toxicity, okay? And for the others of you, maybe you're just giving up on this person because you were holding on to this connection for a very long time. But because you're dealing with someone who does not take action towards you, who's non-committal or who's already married, you're just like, you know what, this is too toxic, I gotta let this go, okay? You just want peace. Either a peaceful resolution where you guys just remain friends so you, you, you can be okay in your own zone and they can be okay where they are or you just want peace. I don't feel you want to get into that mode of conflict where you're kind of getting fed up and exhausted about too many people in the picture, too much of drama, too much of chaos. You don't want that. You just want peace. Okay, so which is why you're like, I'm fed up, I'm tired of holding on. I can't do everything on my own, all right? I can't always keep holding on to you whilst you do nothing about it. Because I do feel for a lot of you, this could be a connection where you're doing so much in this, okay? You're the one who tries to keep the relationship together and they do nothing about it. Clap in the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, here moving on, there's no commitment. You're getting pretty fed up. Okay, you're getting pretty fed up of this thing going in circles, okay? You feel this is going around in circles, round and round, you're waiting forever and nothing really happens. This is like a painfully slow connection. Already was, and now it's just stagnant, okay? And now you're bored and you're just looking for something new, something more exciting, okay? Um, I feel that you're just ready to move out. I, I, I feel that, you know, a lot of you, 
you could uh, have uh, been feeling very lonely and very left out and very isolated in this connection but eventually like i said you have the will power to get out of this you're into that recovery mode for some of you who already recovered for others of you you are very close to recovering and you just realize that there is no commitment out here there's no stability out here and it's just a waste of time yeah however like i said you could be workaholics also okay just trying your best to distract yourself from this connection what's the five of cups This person could have had very bad communication skills is also what I'm getting. Yeah. See, they, you know, this person out here, right? It, it, it's, it's someone out here who still wants to hold on to the connection, although they lack accountability. Okay. They're still not ready to take accountability for their actions. They still want to give the silent treatment. They realize that you are doing that too. Okay. They're very attracted towards you right now. They have emotions for you, but they're choosing to stay quiet about it. Why? Because they just feel that it just may not work out. And they may just have to walk away because you reject them. You know, like I said, overall, didn't I tell you in the beginning out here with the sun in reverse, there's depression. They're only seeing that the glass is half empty. They're just not being able to see that the glass is half full or can be full. Okay. That's why I said how they see themselves. They want commitment. They're desperate to communicate with you. However, there's this big pause. You know, it's like they pick up the call. They don't call. They write messages. They delete it. Okay. Is what I'm getting out here. Like they want to wait it out a little bit longer, okay, and just get it like at the perfect uh, spot. I do feel they're not talking to you right now, okay. And I feel this person out here is trying to run away from any kind of uh, conflict or run away from any kind of justification that they have to give you. You know, I'm literally getting they know they did the wrong thing. They know they messed up, all right. And... Um, they want to set things right. They want to make things right. But instead of making things right, instead of getting themselves into an uncomfortable position or an uncomfortable spot, they'd rather with the seven of wands out here, they'd rather just stand straight and rather just be more defensive. Like, look, I mean, we both messed up. It's not only me, you know, something like that out here where they just don't want to be anywhere in the picture where, yes, I messed up. I'm sorry. Can you give me another chance where you get an opportunity to, you know, verbally attack them or just give them a piece of your mind where their ego is crushed. So they're just rather going to assume that, you know what, maybe it just want to work out or maybe, you know, just feel hopeless and make themselves feel better about it. They haven't healed. So obviously this was ought to happen. So let's apply for the King of Swords as the outcome. You might just cut them off for the King of Swords. <laughs> yeah they're just choosing to stay logical that's oh my god this is so much bullshit you know they are just just you know how you try to con the, the grapes were sour do you know that do you know that story where the fox tries to keep jumping and trying to get the grapes and then because they couldn't reach it either they felt too hopeless or because they just didn't want to you know they just wanted to feed their ego they said the grapes were sour that's exactly what's happening I feel for a lot of you, this person out here is uh, A, not ready to take a risk towards you. So there is a new beginning on the horizon, but they're still not ready to risk it. They want to communicate with you, all right? They want to rush. And I feel two people are wanting to come towards you for some of you, okay? One could be a new person, okay? One could be an old person. The old person, I feel, looks like someone who is at a distance from you, okay? Who's been very inconsistent in your life, on and off, on and off, on and off. Very passionate connection. The, both could be younger too. But overall, I'm getting out here as just being very logical and cutting the bullshit out. Uh, I just feel that overall, this person out here, because I'm getting a lot of negativity from their side, okay, where they're just focused on being very pessimistic, okay, with the sun and river show. So because they're being so pessimistic, right, they're just trying to convince themselves, oh, you know what, yeah, I do love Aquarius, I want Aquarius, but you know what, maybe it just wasn't meant to be. So even though they have a lot of emotions for you, like a lot of emotions for you, they're just going to try and make a more head over heart decision. Okay. For the others of you, I do feel that there is communication coming. It's going to be very straightforward communication. All right. Where there's like no bullshit out here. But you may not want to take a risk. You may not want to take a risk. But overall, I do feel that this person out here wants to reach out to you but they're just going to try and stay as logical as they can okay 
so that they don't have to face the music or they don't have to face you where you have the upper hand because see they come off as a complete control freak right now very rigid they lack flexibility okay if they could be a little flexible and realize that they were the ones who needs who needs to make the changes in themselves things could have been different so they're desperate for a reconciliation like i said you're on their mind 24 7 but they're having a hard time looking at things a little more optimistically okay so i do feel for right now this person's still going to hold on to a little bit of logic rather than make a head over heart decision okay they're still choosing their um their head over heart okay still not falling their heart and emotions so that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates and i'll see you next time Bye bye